Hello again, everyone. I'm Bethany Cheshire, and I work with the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History. So something really awesome happened at my home over the last month. A pair of American robins built a nest on my bike. Now, before I tell the story, I want to remind everyone that birds in their nests deserve their space and should be left alone unless absolutely necessary. So my family and I got to observe the birds and their nests for about a month until the fledglings or baby birds flew out of the nest. The American robins at my house built a nest from mud and sticks um, and it looked as if it had been woven tightly together. It seemed to take about four days for the birds to finish their nest. A few days later, we noticed that the birds stayed around the nest and sat in it more often. I decided to investigate and found that hiding in the nest were these four beautiful little teal colored eggs. It was about two weeks after that that I started to see the mother and father birds bringing food to the nest. I found that the eggs had hatched and now living in the nest were these three little pink baby birds that had semi-translucent skin. The babies started to grow feathers not too long after they hatched and were completely covered in just a couple of weeks. They started to get more active and open their eyes and they were able to notice their parents in the nest and would noisily beg for food. They also started practicing flapping their wings. And not long after they got all their feathers, the fledgling birds left their nest behind. After saying goodbye to the little baby birds, I was able to get a closer look at the nest. It was very intricate and well-structured, and I'd wondered how a bird could build such a thing. Then I started to research. So birds build nests for a few reasons. To lay eggs and keep them safe and incubated. That means to keep them warm, or to raise their young and protect them from predators, and even sometimes to attract a mate. But how do they do it? So there are three factors when nests are being built. One is cushioning. This allows for protection of the fragile egg and young, and it provides warmth. It usually is done with soft materials like plant fibers, furs, grasses, feathers, and even moss. The second factor is shelter. A nest itself needs shelter in order to keep uh, its occupants safe. So nests are usually built in places that allow for protection from weather and other predators. The final thing when thinking about a nest is camouflage. So eggs and chicks are very vulnerable and some nests are created with materials that help hide them from predators or they're made in locations that help hide them. But there are so many designs that birds can use. The first is the cup nest design. And this is the most common and usually what people think about when thinking about nests. Uh, this is the kind of nest that the American robins at my house built and other birds use this too, like hummingbirds. Some birds use a scrape design where they make or find shallow spots in the ground and add material to keep it warm and safe. And ostriches use this kind of nest. Some birds make a burrow, like a kiwi or a burrowing owl. So this is where they dig a hole in the ground or move into a hole that has been made by other burrowing animals, like prairie dogs, and they line the burrow with soft materials for protection and warmth. Flamingos use the mound nest design, uh, this, and they lay their eggs. It's a nest built on the ground in a bell or cone shape, and the eggs may be buried, or they could be laying on top of the mound. Woodpeckers use a cavity nest design. They make or use natural cavities in trees, cactus, or even telephone poles, and they dig a hole and then build the nest inside the cavity that they've made. Platform nests are relatively large and bulky, and they're made of large twigs and sticks. These nests are used for many years and are added to continuously. Some of these types of nests are built on water. Platform nests are usually made by bald eagles or other raptor birds and some, uh, some kinds of ducks. Then there are pendant nests. 
These are elaborate woven sacks with a small opening in the side that dangle from branches. They are great protection from predators. Weaver birds and sunbirds are known to make these. Other birds build dome-like nests or sphere nests that are almost completely enclosed, and these nests provide great protection through camouflage. But they're often on or near the ground uh, or are in low areas that are at risk of predators and high rains. Cactus wren like to make these kinds of nests. Some birds, though, like the emperor penguin or peregrine falcon, don't use nests at all. Emperor penguins, they keep their, their eggs on their feet. While other birds, like brown, the brown-headed cowbird, will steal nests that other birds have made. So we've learned that birds use whatever material that they have in their environment to build nests, um, and that birds are very creative in how they engineer their nests. So I'd like to challenge you. I want you to build a nest out of any material you can find in your environment, be that in your house or from your yard, um, and then share it with us on our Facebook page. I made one. It's a small little nest. It took me about 45 minutes. So I made a cup nest design and um, I chose this type of nest because it's the most common and it seems to be the most practical for my area. A lot of the birds here build cup nests uh, and if I were a bird I'd place it in a high tree or on the roof of a house um, but I'd want it in somewhere that had a shady area because Texas summers get hot. So what I did is I used here on the bottom you can see I used pipe cleaners, little pipe cleaners, and I wove them together um, to build the bottom and then I used play-doh to line my nest to keep it um, firm and soft enough that the eggs would be safe but it actually fills any holes that were in the bottom of the nest. So let us know what you made and why you used what you used and maybe where you would put your, your nest. Thank you so much for joining me today and to learn why the birds build their nests. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for other history and science videos. And if you have an idea for our next video, please leave it in the comments below or email us at questions at fwmsh.org. See you next time.